So let's take a deep breath. If we could dim the lights, please, and John will want some nice consciousness music. I'm not going to call this a mere rob. It just is. It's a going into a state of consciousness. Now, the interesting thing here is we dim the lights and put on a little light music. You can't think about it, but you can feel it and experience it. So I invite you to do just that. You can't force it. You can't. It's not a goal. It's not about doing it right or wrong. You can't do it wrong. State of consciousness is where your awareness is at the time. Part of your awareness is right here in this room, or wherever you happen to be listening from. Part of your consciousness is in your body. You're always conscious of that physical body. Part of your consciousness tiptoeing into tomorrow, the next day, what's the future going to be like. Part of it is in what happened yesterday, last year, last lifetime. It's all very linear, you see. The awareness, the consciousness has been focused on your beliefs, your perceptions, your fears and your desires. But there is so much more consciousness, awareness that's already there. And you can take a deep breath and allow it to expand. Funny thing is that nothing happens. Ah, or at least nothing that the mind can comprehend right away. As you take a deep breath and allow the state of consciousness to open and expand. The part of you, the mind that's saying, yeah, but I don't have any sensation. Nothing is happening. But yet it is. It is. Because you're allowing. Because you've chosen it. Because it's your damn consciousness and you can do what you want with it. It is. It's opening yourself, making your consciousness more flexible. So it's not just centered on this human reality. So it's not just coming through the filters of the mind. Take a deep breath. Into the open state of consciousness. In the beginning of our show today, I asked you to invite me in, into you, into your body, yeah, right into your physical body and into your mind. Most of you were open and trusting and bold enough to do it. Now, here we are, again with that open and trusting nature, to take a deep breath and to allow yourself to open your consciousness. The mind says, well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing, nothing. Part of you is looking for a reaction. Doesn't have to be one. 
simply by allowing. Kind of like opening the beam of a light. The beam could have been very narrow, only illuminating a small area. Now you can take a deep breath, open the beam, open the consciousness. Consciousness is not thought, by the way. Thinking mental activity has almost no consciousness to it. That's where many who have been on this path of enlightenment have gotten distracted. Too much thinking. Well, thinking lets you feel like you're in control, like you're doing something, like you're thinking. True consciousness goes without thought. It takes a very bold and trusting person to go beyond thought. Many people stop at this point and say, but I have to know what's happening. I have to know what's going on. I have to be able to um, think about it, figure it out. They say, I, what happens if I lose control, if I go out of my mind? That's exactly where we're going. We're going beyond the concept of power and control anyway. So let's take a deep breath. There is no thought in consciousness. There's no language to consciousness. There's absolutely no mathematics to consciousness. None. And no framework. something that you can allow yourself to experience. If your mind is chattering away right now, just tell it to shut up. You're allowing yourself come to new states of consciousness that don't require energy, don't require thinking. Consciousness is awareness. Openness. Oh, and yes, and simplicity, a lot of simplicity in consciousness. Mind is complex, consciousness is simple. And in the state of consciousness, a flexible, open consciousness, you can start feeling again, sensing again. Consciousness can be very open, fluid, Expansive. Just take a deep breath and allow it. In our discovery this year, I'm going to discover how you are a being of consciousness. You don't need to think, you can't think your way into it. You want to allow yourself to be awake. 
conscious with very little need for thought. Hard to, for the mind to imagine, but very little need for thought. Take a good deep breath. Consciousness, your consciousness, it's not owned or controlled or manipulated by anyone else. Not even God, not archangels or anyone. The consciousness is that I exist. I exist. And then it expands into greater awareness, into greater experiences. One day, Mark, you'll tell your students, little consciousness brings little experiences. Little experiences bring little consciousness. In other words, you limit yourself, you limit your experience, you also limit your awareness. You limit your awareness, you limit your experience. You take a deep breath, with it open, pure trust, you allow big experiences, you get big consciousness. You allow big consciousness, you get big experiences. Experience is just a way to rejoice in the I am and the I exist. In our discovery, you'll realize that you never have to have an experience as a lesson again. Let's not even talk in those terms, experiences as lessons. There is no need for lessons. No need. You say, what is Spirit trying to tell me? Why did this happen? What is Spirit trying to tell me? Spirit is just trying to tell you, hello, glad you're alive. Now what are you going to do? As you take a deep breath and say, damn, I'm going to open my consciousness. Now I'm going to ask John to turn off the funeral music. <laughs> so we can just be in the stillness, in the silence with consciousness. Take a good deep breath and don't think. Transcend that need to think and just dive into open consciousness. And I ask you to experience this, this month, till our next show, diving into consciousness without thinking without thinking, without having to have a purpose. Dive into consciousness that allows experience that is not about lesson. Dive into consciousness without having any structures, frameworks, filters, hesitations, or anything. Now, you will probably have some moments of feeling a high level of disorientation. It's just an experience. But trust yourself that it's not going to affect your driving or anything else. As you open your consciousness, make your consciousness more flexible, your mind is going to feel very discombobulated. It's going to feel more. <laughs> it's going to feel... It's going to feel out of sorts. Part of the experience is allowing that, just allowing it. So, in the experience this month, when, whether you're sitting at home behind the computer, whether you're taking a walk, you just dive into consciousness without thought, 
without structure, without filters. So let's have the lights back up. Let's take a good deep breath as we begin our discovery series. A good deep breath. Ah, consciousness. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Consciousness is, as you, as you get more playful with it, you'll learn that you can focus it, laser focus it anywhere you want. You can have multiple laser focuses going on at the same time. You can just open it up in one great big awareness of consciousness. You can hide it. You can make it very, very small. You can do anything with it you want. Consciousness is not a game you play with others. This is for you, for yourself. Don't walk out the door and start zapping others with your consciousness. That's when you're going to start getting zapped back. You'll find that consciousness is malleable. Consciousness is something that you can play with and work with. It's yours. I mean, it's your core. But you've, you've been very rigid with it. You've been programmed to be very rigid with it. You've had the belief system that you keep adding to consciousness or awareness little by little. Not at all. Not at all. You can have as much of your consciousness as you want. It's going to cause some interesting conflicts with uh, the mind and with some of your thoughts, and that's why I say beliefs are going to go out the door with consciousness. Right out the door. Let's take a good deep breath and tell our next gathering it's about the flexible state of consciousness. And what are those words I love to hear? And so it is. Thank you. You're done early today. Thank you. Thank you.